back with another comparison video, this time between the Revo, what is it, French Vanilla Snowflake and the EOS um, Vanilla Mint. So let's get started. First off, um, format wise, they're both in the dome shaped solid wax. So I mean, there's nothing that great there other than one has a flat top and the other one's just rounded. But packaging wise, I mean, they're both blue, but you could anyone with eyes can tell that they're very different shades of blue, and this one is shiny and metallic, and this one's not. This one's striped, and this one's not. They almost look like they're dressed up for two biblical holidays, Easter and Christmas, but yeah, that's just me being weird. So anyway, yeah. What I'm surprised by is that even with this flat top, they're exactly the same height. That kind of tripped me out, because I thought for sure this was going to be a little shorter because of that, but I guess not. <laughs> So anyway, um, this one's organic and natural, this one isn't, this is just synthetic. Um, this is not part of any set other than just the Visibly Soft collection. This is part of the Holiday Jewels 2015 holiday set from Revo. Um, I feel like these are actually kind of comparable when it comes to the sturdiness of their packaging when it comes to scratches, even though I haven't had it happen with this one yet, I've barely had it open for any length of time at all. But this one, like, within the first day of having it, got a big ol' scratch down the side of it right here that you can see, kind of, especially if I go like that with the lighting, you can kind of see it. I feel like it would happen in this reflective material as well, just as easily, even though it's a harder plastic than this. So there's that. The amount of product you get in these is identical, it's 0 0.25 ounces. Uh, the shelf life on them, however, I think this goes bad in either 2016 or 2017. It was the first EOS I ever had, so I honestly don't remember, but I'm thinking it may be 2016, I don't know. Well, I'll probably still use it anyway. Price point, this was more expensive than this, even with getting off off of eBay, this was still more because I feel like I sp I may have paid about four fifty for this, and this was well I paid three fifty for this, but if you get it in the store, it's two fifty. Uh, no real special features of which to speak here on either of them. Neither are ha neither one has SPF. Neither one's medicated. Nothing like that. Scent wise, they're actually really similar. I'm gonna check them back to back, but they're actually unbelievably similar. Whoa. Um, let's get these both open. See, this one's kind of like a vanilla cookie with a hint of mint in it. This is a little more subtle of a scent, um, but kind of smells like white Tic Tacs to me. But, um,. But yeah, they're really similar. So, but I mean, you can see that the wax color, even though they both go on clear, this one's a colored wax, this one isn't. This is just the natural waxy color. This one has some um, slight shimmery sparkles in it. This does not. But yeah, flavor-wise, this doesn't really have one, with the exception of a very slight minty aftertaste, whereas this one, you actually can taste, um, something in it. It's mostly just sweet, but you can kind of taste mint and vanilla both in here. At least that's my opinion anyway. Consistency-wise, these are actually a, well, this one's thinner, this one's a little thicker, but they're both on the thinner side, in my opinion, but this is definitely thicker than the Revo. Um, in terms of consistency itself, though, they're both pretty rich and creamy and kind of comparable that way, even though they're of different thicknesses. But they're both moisturizing, and both are pretty good at what they're supposed to do. As far as shine factor goes, you get a little bit more out of this than you do out of the Revo, although not by a lot, I have to admit. It's not a real shiny one or anything. It goes about as shiny as you can see on the lip balm itself. Longevity, though, mm, actually, you know... They may be about the same, because this one I do reapply an awful lot, because I was going to say that one takes more reapplications, but no, this one takes quite a few of them too. Hold on a minute! But yeah, so in terms of these in ratings, I would say if I had to pick one over the other, 
probably just for health reasons, I would pick the EOS over the Revo, but not by a lot. They're practically a tie, so I would just say whichever one you can get your hands on easier, go with that one. So anyway, that's about all I have to say here. So as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. Until next time, bye!